Hello students, let's continue our journey through linear equations in one variable. Today we are going to deal with some more applications of solving a linear equation, having a linear expression on one side and numbers on the other side. Let's begin with an example. The present age of Sahil's mother is three times the present age of Sahil. After five years, their ages will add to 66 years. Find their present ages. Let's try to understand the question. Sahil's mother's age can be expressed as a function of Sahil's age. First, we take the present age of Sahil to be x years. So, the present age of Sahil's mother is 3x years. After 5 years, the age of Sahil will become x plus 5. Age of Sahil's mother will become 3x plus 5. Also given, the sum of their ages after 5 years equals 66. First, we take the present age of Sahil to be x years. So, the present age of Sahil's mother is 3x years. After 5 years, the age of Sahil equals x plus 5 years. Age of Sahil's mother equals 3x plus 5 years. And the sum of their ages after 5 years equals 66 years. That is, x plus 5 plus 3x plus 5 equals 66. That is, 4x plus 10 equals 66. Transposing 10 to IHS. 4x equals 66 minus 10 equals 56. Transposing 4 to IHS. x equals 56 by 4 equals 14. So the present age of Sahil equals x equals 14 years. The present age of Sahil's mother equals 3x equals 3 multiplied by 14 equals 42 years. So, students please check out the two conditions with these values of x. Let's do another example. The sum of two numbers is 45 and their ratio is 7 is to 8. Find the numbers. Since the ratio is 7 is to 8, the numbers are constant multiple of 7 and 8. If the constant is x, then the numbers are 7x and 8x respectively. Given the sum of two numbers is 45, that is, 7x plus 8x equals 45. 15x equals 45. Transposing 15 to IHS. x equals 45 by 15 equals 3. So the required numbers are 7x equals 7 multiplied by 3 equals 21 and 8x equals 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24 students check the condition with the value of x before winding up let's check how much you understood by doing an activity the number of boys and girls in a class is in the ratio 7 is to 5 the total number of students in the class is 48 Find the number of boys and girls in the class.
That's all for now. See you all in the next class.